Hey guys, konnichiwa! I'm back from Japan and I'm here to do my follow-up video to the Bob Axe jackets. After I uploaded that last video, Scotty Vest, which is another travel jacket company, contacted me and they sent me a few of their jackets that are most comparable to the Bob Axe jackets. So I was able to take those with me on my last trip to Europe just two weeks ago and I tested the Bob Axe jackets in Japan. I figured why not do a comparison video. Scotty Vest! versus Bob X and it's on. I'm gonna start with the sweatshirt, which is the jacket that I ordered from Bob X. Ta-da! So how did this fare on my trip to Japan? I actually really like the sweatshirt. I love, love the hood with the eye shield. This combined with the Bose noise canceling headphones makes you feel like you're in your own little box in the airplane. We took a flight from Los Angeles to Shanghai to Tokyo and it was a long long flight and I was able to sleep pretty much most of the way thanks to this jacket. Assuming that you got one that fits properly, assuming that it is assembled accordingly and that nothing was missing, you managed to be one of the lucky ones that's received it as of now. It worked really well. I think that the fabric is nice and soft, it's pretty comfortable to wear, the pockets were useful. I don't know if I would ever put soda in here, especially if I'm sleeping, it would spill all over me. That part, not so great. The travel pen, I ended up clipping to the inside of the jacket. It pops off really easily, and it was kind of a pain to have dangling around since it's so large. It worked for maybe one word, and then it stopped writing. It's not that it ran out of ink, it's just clogged. And I know they give you extras, but I mean, if it's only going to write one word, the three extra cartridges are not going to do me any good. So that was kind of a bust. I did not put my iPad in the iPad pocket for obvious reasons. If you watched my last video that was just kind of ridiculous in the sweatshirt. The pillow is supposed to fit in the hood, right? But it makes this jacket really heavy. It weighs the sweatshirt down and I really didn't ever store it in there. So while I was on the plane when I wasn't using it, I either just folded it up and put it in my purse or I just kept it around my neck. But I can't hate on the pillow too much because it was really easy to inflate it. I watched the guy next to me with a regular inflatable pillow sitting there for five minutes filling it up and at the end of the flight letting the air out and that takes two seconds with this pillow. This alone could be a valuable travel item without the jacket. Overall, the sweatshirt's kind of heavy and sometimes when you're on the plane and it's super freaking hot in there, right? Well, in those situations, I start to panic and I want to just like strip off my jacket immediately. And this jacket does not want to easily come off. I kid you not, there was a lady sitting next to me on my flight to China that had to help me twice. That was annoying that it won't just like easily come off. Now, when you're not using the eye shield, you're supposed to just tuck it under and it's in theory supposed to store. That doesn't really happen. This thing does not want to stay under there, so it keeps coming out. I know a lot of people were hating on the half scoop gloves, but I might be one of the few people that actually really like them. They fit me fine, and I use these little things constantly, and I learned that if you, you know, just tuck it up here, it's really, it doesn't bother you much to just store it up here if you're not using it. So I really enjoyed that feature. I do think it kind of clings to your wrist when you're taking off the jacket, which is part of the reason why it's difficult to remove it. I really like this jacket specifically for the plane. Out and about when I was wearing it like around Tokyo and stuff, eh, not so much. It wouldn't be my first go-to jacket. To me, the purpose for this jacket is solely to be able to sleep while you're on the plane and to be comfortable. This jacket is on sale right now on ebags.com for $149. That's a little bit overpriced. This jacket has 15 features, but it actually only has 9 pockets if you count. If pockets is what you want, then you might be more interested in the Scotty vest. This is the Chloe hoodie. It retails for $95 online. This jacket is super, super soft. That was the first thing I noticed about it when I took it out of the box. And the hood has a different material that's even more soft. So I really like that part about it. When I first got this, the zipper was really sticky and I was like, this is going to be a pain in the butt. 
but after using it for two weeks in Europe, it loosened up. If you guys get this jacket and you feel like the zipper is really sticky, I would say just keep using it and it'll just loosen up over time. I think they're really sturdy zippers, which is probably why that's the case. One thing about this jacket that I kept getting comments over and over about is why does the zipper go all the way up to the hood, right? So you can zip it up all the way like this. When I first got it, I noticed that too. And I was hoping that it meant I could totally zip myself into the hood. This is a size small, by the way, so if you are a medium in the Bob Axe jacket, you are probably a small in this one, but you should definitely measure yourself and look at their sizing chart online. So I zip myself all the way up, right? And I put this hood on. The hood's a little bit small. I kind of wish it was a little bigger. I really want to be able to zip myself into this. <laughs> I can. Look, I'm doing it. Oh my god, I'm it. Ow. Ow. <laughs> so I could totally sleep like this. I really wish this was like an oversized hood. It would be perfect. But when I first got this jacket, I noticed that the sleeves seemed really large. When I was on my last flight and I was really cold, I was sitting there like, brr. And I realized that you can do this. I don't know if this is intentional, but... This is kind of awesome! Like, I love this. So that kept me warm, despite the fact that I did not have gloves with me. There is a little hole for your thumb. Maybe I have overly long arms, but it's a little bit too low for me, so it doesn't feel very comfortable. You don't have to worry about tucking it under. What you do is you just roll this over. It looks like this. Ta-da! I feel like it's a lot warmer than the sweatshirt, so I do like that because I get cold really easily. The Chloe jacket has 14 pockets, so that's five more pockets than the Bob Axe sweatshirt. And if you like pockets and you're more concerned about being able to fit things in your jacket to carry on a plane rather than just being able to sleep on a plane, this might be the better option for you because there is a pocket for virtually everything. They actually put little tags by the pockets to remind you what they're for, which I found really useful because when there's 14 pockets, you're gonna forget what's for what. One of my favorite things is that in the sunglass pocket, they have a lens clean, lens wiper, lens cloth. They have a lens cloth, that's what it's called. And the lens cloth has a map of all the pockets in the jacket. And I think that's such a simple and genius idea because you're always gonna have this on you. And there's so many features in this that are obviously really well thought out. Inside the, the camera pocket, there's another pocket for your memory cards. So you could just store extra memory cards in here and it feels pretty secure. I wouldn't be worried about losing it, which is great. Similar to the Bob Axe sweatshirt, you can loop your headphones through the top, but it's a lot cleaner then in the Bob Axe jacket because you get your loops here but then it actually goes through the inside of the jacket into the pocket they have their passport pocket here there's two there's one where you could put your passport in without a ticket or anything and then there's one behind it that's a non-assigned pocket but what I was using it for is to put my passport in with the ticket because it's super deep it goes all the way down here so you could just stick all the longer documents in that pocket. You just need to decide, do you want a jacket that you want to be able to sleep in on your plane ride? Or do you want a jacket that you can fit lots and lots and lots of stuff in to take onto the plane to maybe avoid bringing a carry-on or get around some of the, you know, weight restrictions that all these crazy airlines are enforcing now. I didn't need a purse when I had this jacket. I just put all my, my wallet and everything. I just put into this. I think it's also kind of an anti-theft control because if you have things on the inside of your pocket, people aren't going to think to pickpocket you when you're, they don't see a purse in sight. Like, this just looks like a normal jacket. Who would think it has 14 pockets hidden away on the inside? So I really liked both jackets. I think they're both great. All right, we're going to load this jacket up and I'll show you what it looks like loaded with everything and I think you'll agree that it looks a lot better than the sweatshirt did. To be fair, the sweatshirt, we loaded everything in there that it said it could hold, which is not what I would ever put in it. For the Scotty vest, I loaded it up with everything that would be in my purse and things I actually used and walked around in. 
and it held up a lot better somehow. I didn't look very lumpy, so that's nice. One problem I have with all of these travel jackets is that once you have all your stuff in the jackets and you get hot and you take it off, what do you do? Well, this Chloe jacket gave me an idea. What if you had a jacket that you could zip all the way up, just like the Chloe jacket, right? Right? You're zipping, you're zipping. And then there's another zipper down here, in theory, right? And you zip it. And then somehow, the sleeves connect. And now, you got jacket bag. Aw, yeah. Come on, someone's gonna make that, right? All right. So, the next group of jackets are sized for men because this is my husband's jacket and I've got the Scotty Vest Revolution, which is comparable to the Bob Axe Bomber. And you guys saw this in my last video. It filled itself really well with stuff. You couldn't see it as much as the sweatshirt and it just seemed like overall the pockets worked better for this jacket. The biggest complaint my husband had about this was that it was too hot. Only the arm is insulated. This is a different material from the rest of the jacket. Also, one funny thing about the Bob Axe jackets is that normally the men's zippers are on the right side of the jacket and for some reason they put all their zippers on the left. So unlike me, my husband did not like the gloves in his jacket. They bunched up quite a bit and I don't know if that's a style thing because this jacket is you know, made a little bit differently around the sleeves or if it's just based on what your preference is for warmth. It's, it's hard because you can't remove the gloves and you're going to be stuck with those. I guess you could cut them out, but for a jacket that's over $100, that's kind of a shame. I hope that in the future Bob X has some other options for people because that is really the biggest difference between these two companies is that Bob X has four different jackets. They have the bomber, the sweatshirt, the windbreaker, and the blazer but all the pockets are identical and all the features are identical whereas Scotty Vest has all these different products and it seems like they've customized the different pockets to fit the style of the jacket and to be engineered in the best way to where it's not going to look too full or bogged down and so I think Bob X is a newer company so they have a long way to go with that. For this jacket it was way easier to store the pillow and the hood, I don't think it's a problem for this one. The hood is removable on this jacket, which I don't think I discussed in the last video. So that is a nice option. What ended up happening is if it got too hot on the plane, Wes was able to just remove the hood and put the hood over his head and still sleep without having to wear the whole jacket. So that was kind of a nice bonus feature that I'm sure no one thought of when they were making the jacket, but was convenient. The eye cover. In the bomber is a lighter material than the one in the sweatshirt. My preference is the one in the sweatshirt. We got stuck in the rain a few times and this jacket is water resistant. It worked pretty well. Natalie, who you've seen in my Hawaii videos, also has this jacket and she got caught in some rainstorms also, which were probably worse than ours, and her jacket got drenched and soaked through, so if it starts raining, you know, don't push your luck. It currently retails for $179 on ebags.com. Fun little side note that's not so fun is that depending on what size Bob Axe jacket you ordered, the pocket size changes. I saw some pictures of people that got this jacket in a smaller size and they couldn't even fit a can of Coke in the cup holder, which regardless of whether or not you're going to use it for that purpose, I feel like there should be some standards to making the pockets the same size, especially if you're going to claim that it can fit something and that it can't. It's a little bit unfortunate um, and ridiculous. Okay, so the Revolution jacket has 26 pockets and it retails for $190 on the Scotty Vest website. There's quite a few big differences between these two, so they, initially they look really similar. This is the same color and it's the same. Overall style, I think it looks a little bit nicer style-wise. I really am not a fan of the accents on the Bob Axe jacket. I think it looks a little bit lame, so I think I think this is a little more hip, a little more cool. It's a lot lighter. The sleeves aren't insulated. They do have the Revolution Plus if you're looking for something warmer, but I think for Wes, this is actually more what he 
was looking for and what he likes since you can wear it in more weather types you're not gonna get super super hot but it'll keep you warm this jacket does have an option to turn it into a vest you can unzip the sleeves on here neither of us wear vests ever we don't really have a reason to but if that's an option that you're looking for that is something that this jacket does that the none of the Bob Axe jackets do there is a hood built in that rolls up you have the option to put this hood on, roll it up, or you can unzip it. And it's easy to roll back up. I just, I love anything that you can customize like that, especially when it's something that's so easy, you just tuck it back in to the collar if you want to keep it on there. This little flap here is magnetic, so you don't have to worry about buttoning any extra buttons on it. You just flip it over and it'll stay put, which is really awesome. Inside, all right, so lots of pockets most of them are labeled just like in the Chloe jacket you put your phone in here and this is really nice because your headphones loop right through and they have this system that is patented by Scotty Vest where the headphones really get threaded through and it's a lot cleaner than in the Bob Axe jacket because it's more hidden you're not gonna get tangled by it you can actually put a water bottle inside this outside pocket there's a big strap that you can put around the water bottle to keep it upright so it won't spill out. Both the Chloe jacket and the Revolution jacket have a pocket with a keychain holder. When you get the jacket, you do get a map of everything, so if you find yourself lost or confused, you can take a look at this. For some reason, they've decided not to print the pocket map on this jacket. And I'm not sure why, because it's such a neat thing, and I wish I do wish it had that. There's so many pockets, and if you go on their website, you can take a more detailed look at all those. We're going to go ahead and fill up a lot of them, and I'll show you a little bit of a clip of what it looks like full. And you can judge for yourself which of the two looks nicer. The Revolution Scotty Vest jacket and the Bob Axe bomber jacket for me this is gonna win out the only thing that Bob Axe has going for it that I like and miss on this jacket is the eye shade and the inflatable pillow you could just buy an eye shade and store it in one of the 26 pockets that this jacket has and you could buy an inflatable pillow and store it I like this jacket so much that I am actually thinking about buying one next winter I hate having purses with me when I'm wearing a thick jacket and with all these pockets you literally do not need to worry about that. As a bonus jacket they have sent me their pack jacket. The pack jacket has 13 pockets and retails for $80. It folds down so small you could like just fit this in your bag easily and just bring it with you just to have and that way if it's like kind of warmer weather but you still make it cold, you'll have this to throw over. Got a little map built in the front. pockets full about to board the plane some gate persons like yo weigh your bag and you're like oh crap I already loaded my Chloe jacket up with everything but wait this is not gonna be a problem because I'm about to go from 14 pockets to 14 plus 13 pockets 27 pockets guys take that gate agent and this jacket also has a hidden pocket this will lay on your back and actually since this is a loose fitting jacket and it's so lightweight and your back kind of goes in in that area you could potentially put like a blanket right here like not that stupid bob axe blanket which by the way i didn't even bother to talk about because it's so shitty that i didn't even bring it on my trip i should probably just go throw it in the trash can was that 25 dollars? pretty much 
Ew. Okay, so those are those are the jackets. So my final verdict, I think it's gonna depend on what you're looking for. Are you wanting to travel with it and make your flight more comfortable? Are you wanting to sneak on more stuff on the flight because they're weighing your bags and you don't have enough room and you don't wanna pay for check bags? It just depends, they're all great. But one thing that I can no longer avoid discussing is Bob Axe as a company. There's a great Facebook group that's all about Bob Axe reviews shout out to you guys and some of the stuff people were posting is just so disappointing because people are not getting their jackets jackets are broken they're not fitted right there's a whole group of kickstarter backers that order jackets for tall people and instead of letting those people know that they didn't make tall jackets they just sent them regular jackets hoped they wouldn't find out about it and then argued with them when people wrote complaints. It's just a really poor customer service that I'm not sure I would ever want to deal with again. I would probably go to eBags and order it there so that I would have that secondary company to rely on if I needed to send it back for whatever reason. At the end of the day, Scotty Vest has been doing it for a long time. They have tons of options on their website. Then they have different styles of jackets for men and women in different colors. And I like their jackets. So these are just two companies that are currently making travel jackets, but this is a whole market that's kind of blowing up right now. There's been a new Kickstarter campaign for pretty much an identical type of thing, except that it's a winter travel jacket. There's two other campaigns out there that ended that got their funding, and there's even a knockoff on Amazon for $99 of the Bob Axe jackets. Alright guys! Let me know below which jackets you prefer, if you have any experience with any of these jackets or know of a better one that I missed. Or if there's any questions you have, just ask me in the comments below and I'll be sure to get back to you. Also, I'm probably going to be doing more reviews in the future, so if there's any products out there that you'd like me to cover or have any suggestions, ideas, let me know. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe for my weekly videos and I will see you guys soon. Bye! Arigato!